Hi Aries, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for all the support. And if you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Monday, then again on Friday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, just come back in a couple of days. Fridays are always a general reading, so they could bring in aspects of finance, career, travel, moving, and of course, love. Mondays are something different every week. So some Mondays, it's more detailed Celtic Cross, Law of Attraction, or a love reading. There's lots of different things going on. If you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Aries? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Aries need to know, please? For the best and highest good of all concerned with Aries. Messages for Aries, please. We will start here with the tarot and then we'll have the angel answers. Okay, so you have here the Two of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Four of Swords, Three of Swords, interesting, two, three, four, the World, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. Well, I'm going to tell you something with that two, three, four, that is significant when we have 78 cards here, even though they're not in exact order, they're close enough. I do feel like there's an, whatever this is, it's about accepting some kind of change, some kind of an ending, because you have a beautiful new cycle starting with the world and these two aces. I mean, especially too, if it has something to do with love, um, and it could be, it could be, you know, something with a career moving too, with the, the pentacles and the swords that are here. But when we, when we have the world, it's always about a new cycle. It's wrapping something up in a new cycle beginning and I, I mean, we couldn't have asked for, you know, a better new cycle, okay? There's a brand new beginning coming in here, and it's powerful, it's beautiful, and it's something that's going to evolve. So, and I, I know sometimes the endings are tough, but in tarot, endings are always new beginnings. So we have here just one major arcana. We have Taurus, Leo here. We have Libra here. We've got the scales of Libra. We've got water, earth, and air, of course. So with this two of swords, there's been definitely something here. I get it really strongly. The two, three, this is like not wanting change. The three of swords can definitely be about not wanting change, but these two together, it's very stagnant energy. So if you've been through something that was a real heartache, very, it just feels like absolute heartbreak with this. And, you know, even if you've been, I don't care if you've been casting spells on a person trying to bring them back or you know, you've been trying every single method from 30 days of no contact to, you know, calling them every day. Whatever it is there with this, it really is about moving on because there's definitely something better. Now, for some of you, I do feel like you didn't see an ending coming, whether it was a relationship or it was something with finance and a job. There was like something about it. The Two of Swords, where you just don't see it coming, I mean, it really is being blindsided. And I think everybody has this kind of experience where life has you flat on your back. But from there, it's a, a new beginning. It's never about just staying there. So twos are about partnerships too, by the way. So I do feel like there was something you were not able to see, or if you did sense it, you, you know, it's like you didn't, you turned away from it. You know, I had something the other day, I'll try to keep this brief, but um, we had very heavy rains where I live, and I have a house that has a sump pump, and if you don't know what that is, we have basements in the area that I live in. You want that thing to be working if it rains. Well, like 10 years ago, I had mine go out, and we had heavy rains, and I woke up thinking about that damn sump pump, and I thought, it's been 10 years. I've got to have it replaced, and I thought, call. Don't sit and wait. Don't wait for it to go out and then say, I remember waking up and having that gnawing feeling it's running, but I, I should get it replaced. Do it. It's that kind of energy where we say, you know what? I'm not going to ignore that. I'm going to act on it. That would have been more like a two of wands. Okay, the, ex, uh, the example I just gave you, that would have been two of wands and getting on the phone and saying, hey, can you come out and we'll, you know, get a new one here. So anyway, with the six of pentacles here, 
This brings in reciprocity. It brings in balance. So again, if it was something financial, this is you being back on your feet. If you had a job that ended, it also too, though, I feel for somebody, if it was a relationship that ended, it also affected you financially. You're getting back into the groove here. You're getting back into the swing. It's, and if you moved out of somewhere, this is being situated again. Um, even if you were staying with somebody for a while, I get that, or even vice versa. If you have a place and you rented out a room for a while, there's something about this, about making, getting more stable with money. Because the sixes too, though, are about help in some ways, okay? So I do get that, that there was some kind of assistance being given here. And with the Queen of Cups, you may have had support in a lot of areas. This The Queen of Cups is a very loving, listening ear. So for some of you, you may have found out who your real friends were in this energy with two, three of swords, four of swords. Um, it also, two of four swords represents therapy for you. This also, too, could be a therapist as well. But with the Queen of Cups, it's a very much, well, we need to talk about a few things. It's very much an unconditional love and non-judgmental kind of person, but it is also a card of taking care of yourself because the Queen of Cups puts herself last on the list. She gives, 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 and gives. So if that was you and you're saying, no, it was me, I was making sure everyone else was okay, you got to make sure you're on the list, Aries. We've got to make sure that you are well taken care of here. And with the Queen of Cups, too, I mean, she loves deeply, and that's Aries. You know, when you're in a relationship, you're all in. One of the most loyal signs, one of the most dependable workers around. Those of you who are entrepreneurs or self-employed, you're industrious, you're, you know, you're, you're courageous, right? You go where other signs can't. And so we have to make sure that you are on the list, too, for taking care of yourself. So with the Four of Swords, this is actually a very helpful energy. With Two, Three, there's a reason why this comes next in the order. These cards are not just random. It really is about not seeing something, having the heartbreak, then this is the recovery. So even though they're not exactly in order, they're still all here and it's important. So also, too, if you're seeing number sequences two three four those are symbols they're symbolic you're on the road to recovery you're making gains there's an evolution here this symbolizes taking a break from conflict getting yourself back to center fours are like the four legs of a table so meditate quiet the mind release old resentments if there was a divorce or something again a relationship that ended just let it go with love because there's something better coming in and so this also, you've got very few windows in the tarot. Knock and the door will open. Ask and it is given. <clears throat> Pardon me, I have allergies as well. So I mentioned it's been raining here and I have allergies. Well, with the three of swords, we've talked about this. We've dabbled in it. There was an ending here, no doubt about it. And if it was um, in a relationship, it feels more like somebody was just dishonest, not necessarily third party. I don't pick up on that. It feels more like it was between the two of you and somebody who was not telling the truth about some things. And it may have also been um, if they made a departure, they did so almost like I feel like a thief in the night where they didn't fully they didn't fully tell you what was coming. I just get that feeling of somebody getting blindsided. And I am sorry for that. It's hard when it happens. And it can be very difficult when you're in it to see that you're on the right path. You know, right? You go, how does this make sense? Well, here's where it starts to make a little more sense. So the final major arcana. I do feel somebody here, you're going to have a new relationship that comes in that's much more mature. It's much more grounded. She's the dancer of the tarot, okay? This is about um, your soul ascending, getting into that next level. But it's also attaining everything you've asked for in this physical plane. She is in that wreath of victory, but it's also a portal to, into the divine. So again, meditate. This too is a card of travel. So for somebody here, I do feel like you have a physical move um, with that three of swords, two of swords combo, leaving something behind, but you're on to something better. And it may be, this may be just a stepping stone, those of you that are moving, but you're definitely starting on a new page with this. And honestly, it's completion, but it is an amazing feeling when you are in the energy of the world. It's absolutely spectacular. Now, here and here's another reason why. We've got this Ace of Cups. So again, you've got a new beginning here. 
The cups too are about that really great life. So you start on a, a new page with the two um, aces that are here, their beginnings. The Ace of Cups is love that evolves and grows. So for some of you, that Queen of Cups is tied into this where it is very much non-judgmental. And it's really about just moving past the, the past, you know, just moving on. And I do feel like with all the swords that are here, it's really a clean break. It's not needing to, you know, to get into old relationships and a new one and, and talk about all that. You're moving on here. So with the Ace of Pentacles, it's a new chapter. Long term, though. So people that you connect with in this energy will be with you for a long, long time. The Ace of Pentacles is a new chapter in love for some of you, for sure, with the world and the Ace of Cups, and it is a love that evolves, but I also feel like it's grounded in practicality where you make sense with the person, okay? Where it's a couple where people say, yeah, they make sense together. There's not a real opposites feeling here, especially if you just got out of something where it was very oppositional, and not even opposites, but oppositional. Now, for others of you, this is a new resource. So again, if you've had te a temporary move, you move on into something that's going to be long lasting. Those of you, though, that it's a job too, there's going to be more money here. This is a big offer. This is not a lateral move, but it's an increase. And so for some, you're going to look back and say, you know what? That was necessary. Nothing is wasted in the universe's economy. Even when I don't understand it, I just keep going forward, right? All right, so... Let's see what else Aries needs to know, please. Messages for Aries, please. Advice for Aries. All right, so you have here, let go and let the universe, let it go and let it flow. That's very much tying into the reading, very much in line with that compromise. So again, for some of you, if there's unfinished emotional business and you are wanting an apology or an acknowledgement, you may decide just to move on without it because there is something better here for you. Meditation brings answers. We talked about that, didn't we? That's going to be important. Within the next few weeks, so get your energy straight. And you have a yes, since uh, this one hasn't been coming out a whole lot. You create your own reality so you can have, do, or be anything, Aries. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.